There are 450 nuclear reactors in the world, with 60 under construction, and all of them, except one, rely on nuclear fission, or splitting of uranium atoms. That produces a lot of heat, but also dangerous radioactivity. The single exception, ITER, aims to harness the power of nuclear fusion, or forceful joining of the atoms of hydrogen and helium. That also releases a lot of heat, but very little radiation. The biggest problem is that ignition of nuclear fusion requires conditions similar to what happens in the core of a star, albeit on a millimeter scale. The plasma will be 150 million degrees. A very little quantity, very small quantity of material, two grams of hydrogen, but with very high temperature. And we need to confine this plasma in order they could fuse, which means, okay, collide and produce new atoms. To confine the super hot plasma in the center of a donut shaped tube, scientists are building electromagnets nearly 300,000 times as strong as the Earth's magnetic field. The task is so huge that it requires the cooperation of 36 countries, with the European Union covering 45% of the cost. The final price is expected to exceed $26 billion. The U.S. almost halved its contribution to the project for this year and next, but President Trump has asked U.S. officials to reconsider. Uh, I feel, and is why now I am now uh, at Washington, that uh, people understand more and more and are more and more confident uh, that uh, it is a way to go in order to provide some clear knowledge about this burning plasma and potential, potential use of fusion energy for the world energy supply in the, in the future. If financing continues as planned, the first plasma ignition at ITER may happen as soon as 2025, with full power production scheduled for 2035. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.